Right now I'm recording this video with a Rode mic. It's, I forgot what kind of Rode mic this is. It's a shotgun mic. I have it right on the side of my camera and I can record audio with it and it sounds pretty good. Uh, the onboard the onboard audio obviously isn't that great. Uh, it's good enough. The Rode makes it way better. But the big thing here is that I wanted to make... Uh, wanted to get the audio to a point where it sounds... Uh, I don't have to worry about having... Um, I live here. This isn't like a studio or something. I'm just doing this out of... I'm like bootleg YouTube as, as you can get, right? So I have a, my washing machine, my dryer, dishwasher. I have to run it because I live here and I have to wash my clothes. I can't just... I, <laughs> I always... I always end up making a video and then all of a sudden I, I decide to do my laundry and then I realize oh I'm gonna shoot a YouTube video and then the washers on in the background so to combat that I had a podcast a long time ago and actually I made that kind of a not to resurrect the our old podcast but it's something close to it I'd like to start doing it again maybe uh, if we can find some time, but I have this. This is a this is the H4 and this is old. I had I've got I had this about Wow, maybe seven eight years. I got this a long time ago. It's a great recorder. It still works I have an AC adapter for it. My only complaint with this thing is it takes It takes about a minute for it to boot but as long as you leave if you leave it on and if it's plugged in It's not wasting batteries. It doesn't matter. So my plan is to use this a lavalier mic let's unbox this real quick i, I, I got really into it because i've been i was thinking about this and i i've had this forever and it's, it was literally sitting in a box not doing anything so it's like oh i can use this so real real quick unboxing documentation ah oh, it has a little dead uh dead cat so this is for the actual mic Oh wow, a thick one. Nice dead cat. I can put on uh, put on it if I need it for like a windy situation. But realistically, the uh, I don't know what you'd call this. I've heard it called many many things. So this this I'll just uh, hook it up to my shirt. I bought, there's two, uh, two different prices for this thing. I bought the cheaper one, but this is a uh, 1.8 meters, which is a little, uh, it's like almost, I don't know. I'm, I'm in America. We only use American, right? So, or the United States, I should say, but anyway, <laughs> so you just simply plug it into the XLR input into the bottom of the zoom. Really easy. This is booted. This is the camera with the Rode mic audio, and now we're going to switch over. Now, what I'm doing, I have the H4N hooked up to the lavalier. This has a, a cable that's about, I think I already said that, a meter and 1.8 meters, which is four, five feet, something like that, maybe. Yeah, something like that. So now, the one thing I'd have to do though is remember by default it, ch it uses these mics on the H4N. I just choose the secondary and it, it goes through the XLR input. Now, I'm just going to yap because I want to make sure that I have enough audio that it sounds, that I can really get a feel for what it sounds like. This is super easy to set up. I just start it, hit record, and go. This is just something I have to remember to do. In, in Adobe, it's super easy. All you have to do is make a clap and to, or some sort of a loud noise so that way uh, you can tell it to sync. And Adobe does all the work for you. So it's super easy to, to pick up. Super easy to, to set up and then, in, then I have this audio now. So this audio is from, this is like a, I don't know if you'd call it a professional. This is a really well-known uh, product. A lot of people use these for podcasts. I used it on my podcast, 
and now I want to, it's been sitting in a box, like I, said, I think I said that before, it's been sitting in a box so I wanted to actually use it again. And if I can use it to make better audio, I don't have to worry about running things or having noises or so like if it's raining or if it's windy or there's a bunch of noise outside, I don't have to worry about it because this will only pick up the noise from here. That was really loud, probably shouldn't have done that, but this is the H4N. This is on this new lavalier mic that I just got with an XLR input and I definitely will be using this for everything I do from now on as far as just sitting down and doing unboxings and things of that nature. So I think I've yapped enough so that way you get a, a good idea what this is going to sound like. So lavalier mic, thanks for watching.